Hello guys, this is Fear Striker with you and HKHR2, or in this case, HKHR3. We're yep, this is the noob HKHR2. We're starting a new account. Um, this is for, obviously for the channel, and it's level, t it's on all level two. We just finished the tutorial, and um, we left it for a few days accidentally. So, um, so in the tutorial, just one quick tip: just follow the steps they do. Except they prompt you to spend gems because it comes with two, it comes with five hundred gems. It forces you to buy a builder's hut for two hundred fifty gems. Get that, but don't spend any other gems that they suggest you do, because most of the stuff is just ten seconds. I mean. Who needs to spend a gem for 10 seconds? I mean, before when we first got our account, it was like 1 minute, but now it's like 10 seconds. It doesn't make any sense. And another thing is, they give you 5 wizards to take out the first goblin thing. Just use 2 wizards, you you don't need 5. And just save the other wizards for yeah. other attacks. Uh, the reason why mine has only 2 left, it's not because I'm dumb at math, it's because I already used 1 wizard for something else. Okay, so let's get into our first raid. So let's go and find a base. Since we're at zero trophies, it should be pretty easy. Yeah, like this guy. Let's just destroy him. This is pretty him. good loot for Tunnel 2 anyway. So pretty much the attack strategy, there isn't any strategy. Just spam just your spam troops. Just spam troops. <laughs> place where the defense is closest to, at least a Tunnel 2. Yeah. So now just kind of watch yeah, have tunnel two. watch the destruction. Yeah, we are almost have full elixir. Oh, we have full elixir storages. Okay. Uh, so really they're destroying the cannon. Good. So, yep, this is pretty much the strategy of Tunnel 2. There's not a whole lot of strategy. <laughs> you normally would have 20 barbarians if you didn't if you didn't save your wizards in the tutorial, so. Yeah, eventually I'll probably use the other two wizards for something. Yeah, plus Tunnel 5 will get wizards back anyway. Like yeah, you once it, yeah, Tunnel 5 you actually unlock wizards. Uh, you should probably... And one tip is, don't rush your town hall. It's okay to rush for, like, the first few tunnels, like, tunnel 2 and tunnel 3. You don't need to, like, upgrade everything before upgrading your town hall. But once you get to the later town halls, like, 4 and 5 and so on, you should try to max out every single building before you upgrade your town hall. Because there's something called the loot penalty once you get to tunnel 6. is so that when you attack a town hall lower, you'll get less loot. So if you don't have the proper troops for your town hall, then you're going to have a hard time. Just a little tip there. Okay, so now we're 82%. I mean, normally if you're on a normal base, it wouldn't go from 82 to 91. <laughs> 9%. <laughs> it would go like 1%, and now we just have another 9% to go, and it's 100. So, yep. A lot of loot for a tunnel, too. Yeah, and we have got all full storages. So, I think we probably should, should probably upgrade, upgrade the town hall. Let's go to town. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, the max isn't enough? Yeah, okay. we should probably upgrade it to both storages. Okay, so 30 minutes there. Um, but just for the purposes of this video... Um, we are going to spend gems? Yes, or, yeah, okay. we'll spend gems. It's only 10 anyways. And we got an achievement, so <laughs> I think so that should give us that record two, two gems. gems. <laughs> oh, but we have a gem box here. And see, gem boxes are one thing in Clash of Clans where if you uh, remove those, you get 25 gems. So we're already going to get back everything we spend on that, so it's all right. It's all good. But that does use up a lot of elixir or tunnel too. It's only a thousand, but a tunnel too, that's a lot. So anyways, here's how you train troops. You just uh, click on this button. You can click on that barracks. And train, you hold it down if you want to train more, more once. But since uh, we, let's, but try to balance out the time if you care about time. Yeah, okay, so now uh, let's see. We should just use, maybe we should just spit eight, like two, two barbarians and like four archers just for sake yeah i think barbs are better honestly okay until you get giants usually just all barb raids are better okay let's see this okay now we have um, we're just gonna wait <laughs> i guess so yep we have 30 trophies although one thing is many people they like to go after trophies trophies are not a big deal okay Trophies are just determine. It determines how high. You, the higher you go, generally the harder opponents you're gonna face. So generally, you shouldn't care too much about trophies until you are at least a tunnel of five. Cause for that, if you're matched against harder opponents, you're probably gonna lose badly. Yeah, and also, like I mean, it's good to look for trophies, but you should also not go too low or too high. Tunnel two, it's better to stay below bronze. Tunnel three, stay in bronze three, maybe bronze two. Although I would, if you want, you can like do us like a small trophy push and then come back down for you when you and have a your town hall. At least that's what I'm gonna do with my tunnel eight account. 
I'm going to be pushing to Masters or maybe even Champion to Tunnel 8. And then I can get my 4th and 5th Builder and then come back down and then upgrade to Tunnel 9. So, yeah. And, yeah, Bronze 3. Then there's also Silver. Like, Tunnel 5s I would recommend. Tunnel 4s would re recommend being sil Bronze 1, maybe Silver 3 at the most. Um, For... Tunnel 5, Silver 3, perhaps. And silver 2. 2, maybe. Tunnel 6 is Upper Silver 2. Silver 1. And Silver 1. Tunnel 7. Maybe Gold 3 if you want, if you're a little ambitious, although you'll meet a lot of Tunnel 7s. Yeah, and Tunnel 8. Well, Tunnel 7s, I would recommend Tunnel Silver 1, maybe. I mean, Silver 2 still works pretty well for Tunnel 7s. Gold 3. Tunnel 8 to recommend Silver 1, Gold 3 mostly. Gold and three. Gold 2 also works. Gold 2 works pretty well. Gold 1 is also pretty good for Tunnel 8. Tunnel 9 is Gold 1 mainly. Gold 2. And Crystal also is a good farming range. Tunnel 10 is at least Crystal. Yeah, Crystal 2. At least Crystal 2 and anything about that. Only Masters and Loot okay because Masters, starting from Crystals upwards, there's lots of trophy pushing going on in those areas for Tunnel mainly with Tunnel 10s and all. And especially in Champions and Titan, especially in Titan, like 4,100 plus with a lot of trophies. You're not going to be farming there. You're going to be trophy pushing there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, And so look at all these. See, there's one league higher than um, Titan. Titan 1. It's called Legend League. And that's 5,000 plus trophies. And they reset you every time. So that's saying a lot. And look at these players. They're like completely maxed. Meanwhile, we should go and check out our troops. Yep, barbs and archers. <laughs> so, yeah. And we haven't barely unlocked any achievements. So, let's uh, go back. I think our troops are done. Yep. So let's go and find another raid. One nice thing I like about Tunnel 2, it's really easy to find raids. Although this is way too difficult and, like, barely any loot. This has so much loot, but too it's too hard. Uh, well, this has a decent a amount of gold, loot, actually. And it's not that difficult, actually. There's only one cannon. That's why yeah. no end in Archer Tower. Yeah. It, I think we can just drop all 12 Barbarians of the Archer Tower so, and go so on from there. Do this. You, you, I use two fingers to drop those barbs. That's one technique you want to learn quickly in Clash Clans. And also, one thing you don't want to do is put your walls over here like that in a line and randomly outside <laughs> the base. Yeah. You might want to surround your structures and keep them in actually some organization to make them maybe a little hard to get. I mean, you oh, can't really... Oh, there's another cannon on this side. I don't think... I don't, I don't want to do too... I mean, we just, want, we just want to loot mostly. No, but there's loot there. So what I'm going to do here is drop these two wizards here. They'll take out the cannon easily, and then <coughs> they can take out the gold and the other stuff. So yeah, that should also wrap up the raid a lot quicker. Yeah, because wizards actually do a lot of damage. Especially a tunnel too. I mean, a tunnel five they're pretty good too, but like level one wizards don't do that much damage compared to they actually become good for battle at level three. Yeah. So. And at level five they become amazing. Yeah. At level four they start shooting in lightning instead of fireballs. Yeah. And then then the tunnels no yeah, tunnel ten they come like a weird Fireish, lightningish material. I don't even know what it is. Magic. <laughs> Let's yeah. put it at that. It's a bit of magic. It doesn't look like fire, nor does it look like anything we know. So, anyways, Tunnel 3 costs 4,000 gold. We are at 3,000. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe one more attack should do it. Because, like I said, going up the tunnels fast at Tunnel 2 and 3 and 4 doesn't really matter too much. Did that wizard just almost die from the small bomb? <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. Anyways, right. three star. And we got all the loot we need. Most of it, at least. Now we're just at 3.8 million. Oh, <laughs> I'm so used to say million. Sorry, thousand. And uh, on our accounts, nothing is a thousand. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyways, ten in each. How much will? It, how long will it take? Three minutes. Mm, eh, let's, just, let's just spend the gems. Um, you guys shouldn't. You can spend gems if you want, but like I mean, try not to spend too spending, much. I recommend spending. I'm not spending. Saving up like 500 gems for your third builder. Uh, this might be a little too, too hard. Yeah. But just because the, they're not going to target the gold first, that's uh, too little. Um, We're looking for something that can bring us to four thousand. We only need 200 gold, really. Mm, Why is it taking so long? Okay, okay there. Uh, oh yeah, that that's this enough. Works. But the, the, but there's a mortar. That'll definitely reach. And the more and one thing you should avoid is that like yeah, this this like tube thingy, this black tube, 
They shoot balls that like harm like many troops at once. It does splash damage. It doesn't just target one troop. It targets many troops at once. Those can be deadly well, this for works. your troops. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. The level 3 cannon or level 2. It's level 3. No, 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 I don't know what I Ah, yeah, this guy. This guy it, yeah, it's good enough. I think we can yeah, even we only the need cannon. 400 gold, so we'll we should be okay. Target the cannon on this side, and then target the cannon here. No, oh, there's an archer tower there. Oh, oops, didn't see that. Okay, this <laughs> might just be a fail. Yeah. Okay, hopefully they target something that gives gold. <laughs> Otherwise, mm. we're... Yeah, we're at 3.5 million. Okay, they're going for the town hall, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Let's see if we can get enough. Doubt it. They're going to give us... No, if we destroy the town hall, it'll give us a thousand. Uh, you think we're going to destroy the town hall? No. Yeah, I wish we had some wizards. Okay. That was a fail. That didn't go well. <laughs> but we only lost one trophy. So anyways, we're just going to jam it. And let's get that. Tone. Let's get to town all three. And one thing is, you can attack the goblin maps for some quick loot, easy. Yeah, loot. Like these bases are horrible. Okay, this one isn't exactly horrible, but um. Okay. okay. One. one second. This text message. Just ignore it. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. One second. Sorry. Um. So, anyways, the barbs are taking out the cannons, and they're gonna target that. Hut thingy, and I think we should be fine. We got 20 barbs, that's more than enough. They're gonna take down in no time, and we have enough gold to upgrade our town hall. 4,000, exactly. So, they're gonna, I'm just gonna let them finish off this base easily. What an overkill. We have like almost all our troops left. And. 3 star. <laughs> okay, so, let's go back to base and let's upgrade our town hall and let's upgrade this barracks so that we can wait hang on one sec oh I got a achievement nice five gems and sorry sorry uh, I'm gonna upgrade this barracks so that we can unlock giants giants are basically a troop that has a lot of hit points and low damage and <clears throat> what you can do with those is they can distract the defenses because they target defenses like cannons and archer towers and mortars and then your other troops like barbs and archers can destroy the defenses fast. Archers are, have range so they can shoot over walls but they have very little hit points, only 20. And barbs, they're just good all-around all rounders. They have decent damage, decent hit points. And don't cost too much to train. Uh, but they don't have range, as you could see. So we're going to unlock giants. So we're going to upgrade those barracks. Um, two hours. This town hall is also three hours. So it's pretty much it for this awesome episode. So thank you very much. And, and have a great day.